Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing something a little bit new, a little bit different. It's not going to be a quick guide like my normal videos. You'll see that I didn't put quick in the title. Um, I've mentioned in a couple of my videos the uh, farming up Torg tokens, the Torg trick. Um, and I'm going to show you what that is today. A couple things to note. Uh, we're in the beatdown right now, so you need to have done the first little stint of quests in Torg's Campaign of Carnage. And I'm also, um, I'm on true Vault Hunter mode. Um, you can do this in normal mode if you want. Um, the way I look at it is that these mobs are capped at level 50. So if you're 61, 72, over level 8, uh, you're going to be one-shotting these guys just as easy as you're going to be one-shotting um, uh, things in normal mode. Um, what you're looking for specifically is you're trying to get the Pyropedes bar. Um, it's up here, and it's on the left. It's pretty easy to get to. Um, just shrug off these mobs shooting at you. Um, and this is where you're going to be farming your Torb tokens. Uh, so you go up in here. And on the left, you'll see a bounty board. The bounty board starts off by giving you uh, Barroom Blitz Tier 1. That's going to reward you with 10 Torg tokens. After you do that, it gives you another quest, Tier 2 Rematch Barroom Blitz. Uh, that rewards 15. Once you do that, it gives you the Tier 3 Rematch, uh, rematch that rewards you 20. And this is a repeatable quest. Uh, so you're going to pick it up. And one thing that I want you guys to notice is that the objectives for the quest um, is that you're supposed to kill the badasses among the bar patrons. It's not telling you to kill everyone. You kill all the bar patrons. And uh, that saves some time, actually, once you once you realize that you don't need to blow up everything. As soon as you shoot one of the, the passive mobs running around, it will unlock, uh, or it'll start the timer. And I'm just gonna kill some dudes to uh, keep my guns working going. Um, but you really, you don't need to kill anyone except for those big dudes right there, the super badass enforcers. Um, those are the badasses that the quest is talking about that they want you to kill. Um, they can only spawn in one of two areas, either up here at one of these doors, or they can spawn down here at one of these doors. So what this means is you don't even need to pay attention to what's going on with those rooms out there. Um, so I just choose to ignore them. Uh, ignore anything that isn't these super badass enforcers. Once you kill four or five of them, I believe it's five, um, you'll get quest credit. And it'll tell you to go turn in. Um, I recommend that, if, especially if you have a very low amount of Torg tokens, that as soon as you do it, you just go turn in the quest and um, run it again. Each one of those super badass enforcers is guaranteed to drop at least one Torque token. Um, but I, I would wait until you have gone through and done the quest a few times before bothering to clear out all the mobs and um, picking up those Torque tokens. Um, so your goal is you want 613 in total. That number doesn't change between playthroughs, that number doesn't uh, change between uh, levels, uh, level requirement on the item. It's always 613, and that's what makes this trick so good, because you can farm up the to uh, tokens easy in normal or true Vault Hunter mode, and then you can spend them in Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. Um, so, if in Ultimate Vault Hunter mode you've made it to Pyro Pete's Bar, at this point, you can just quit, save and quit, hit continue, and it will spawn you at Pyro Pete's bar. Uh, if, like me, you haven't done that, when you switch to Ultimate Vault Hunter mode and you continue, it will spawn you at the beginning of the Campaign of Carnage. Um, the quickest place to go at this point to farm Torque, uh, to farm Torque vending machines um, is the arena which is the first uh, Torg vending machine I believe you encounter. Um, and it's got a checkpoint right next to it, so it's just as easy as Pyro Pete's Bar. You just need to run to it in the first place. Um, you'll unlock the arena. If you haven't touched Campaign of Carnage at all, uh, you'll unlock it right after like the very first two quests. Let's 
real easy to get to. Just go straight. Go off this jump. Um, there are going to be a couple uh, mobs here. Uh, if this is the first time you've done it. Um, so if you're under leveled, under geared, uh, that might be a little bit difficult. Uh, but once you get here, you just go into the arena. It'll unlock the checkpoint. And you check the vending machine item of the day. As you can see, it's 613. And this is when you just start quitting, continuing, quitting, continuing, quitting, continuing, until the item of the day is the item that you want, the prefix you want. Uh, it's a lot easier than just farming the boss, hoping that it drops the item, and then hoping that it has the prefix that you want. This is much easier than that. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the long video today, um, but I hope this, guy's, this helps you guys out. Uh, it's it's a very easy way to get gear to help you do the uh, the higher levels of Ultimate Vault Hunter mode and over level. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. Happy hunting. We'll see you next time.